Ooh, Matty coming at you with another Planet Coaster tutorial video. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video. And here we are back in our tutorial park. Now, what I thought I would do today is just go over some backstage staff areas. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert once again, but I'm happy to show what it is that I do know. And I thought I would also throw in a couple of other little tips and tricks just as we're going. So first off, look at this horrible glitching that we've got at the side of this building here now there is a very quick way of fixing this what you're going to want to do is select the building and edit it we're going to select that piece and we're going to split it from the building and then that way we can move this one piece only without moving the entire building so just move it ever so slightly and there you go the glitching has stopped so this will work on flooring walls anywhere where you've got a little bit of glitching that is going just split the building and just ever so slightly move it and that will stop the glitching another little tip as well is I've seen a lot of people have these little tiny areas here of green now if you go into the paint tool and just go to your tarmac and then paint over it like that that will break up any of the little areas and make it look a lot more natural and a lot more flowing as well so once again just using the paint tool to our advantage so let's draw out this backstage staff area just change the time of day so you can see what I'm doing long paint tool there so let's draw out this section here and then what we're going to do is we're going to drop it to 10% and use a different paint tool so some rock done different tarmac just to make it look a bit more faded so there we go that's where we are going to work with so the next thing that we're going to want to do is fence off this area now personally the wood that I like to use is the one from the studios pack uh, where is it there you go right at the end there so this one so normally you wouldn't be able to see backstage staff areas they would be fenced off so I'm going to change that to white and then what we're going to do is we're going to fence off this entire area all around. It comes over a little bit at the end, but for the sake of this tutorial, it doesn't matter. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to select this middle piece here. And what we're going to do is we are going to rotate that 30 degrees to make it look like a gate and we're going to move that back in so it lines up i'll just move it out ever so slightly and there you go we've got our staff entrance there so this could be where vehicles would come in or anything like that any staff that are going to be walking through and then what we need to do next is put some beams in so i've just searched for beam specifically uh, that one's the wrong one that's a little bit on the tall side uh, what about okay, again just a little bit on the tall side there you go let's use this uh, two meter one this one isn't perfect to be honest but for the sense of this tutorial it gives an idea of what it is that I'm doing and we're going to put them there and then just go around and if you put the move snap on as well it's probably a good idea and you can then split that to four meter sections so you know that it's nice and evenly split so we're going to pop them all the way down there move that one back in a bit and there we go all the way around and there we go so we have our backstage staff area all mapped out and all fenced off so what we're going to want to do next is put a door in now the building that i have chosen was not the best building as an example to do this so i'm actually just going to delete that bit and put in a different wall piece um, because that was a terrible building uh, to use as an example so let's just uh, get the right wall piece that I need no matter that's the same piece we don't want that one no matter that's still the same piece there we go right so let's change that to the same color there we go nope there we go right so there you go so now we can put in our staff door so let's go find a door. I personally quite like the firehouse door. Um, I think it's a really good door to use for backstage staff areas. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate that. Make sure that's facing the right way. 
There we go. Now, what I'm going to do now is actually use a tip that M&J Games did for his transfer track tutorial. Now, what he does is he actually puts three other doors all going around the building to give a frame for the door. Um, and when I watched that tutorial, I thought, what a fantastic idea. Now, I highly recommend going and checking out that tutorial on MJ Games' channel. I will leave a link for their channel down below in the description. But Michael makes the best transfer tracks on console. Um, I'm not going to be bothering to do one on my channel because I've never even done a transfer track yet. Um, so I don't pretend to be an expert at that. So I will send you his way for transfer tracks. But there we go. We have this frame for a door here. So what I'm going to do next is get all these four door pieces. And what we're going to do is we're going to move that up. Now, you might be wondering why are we moving it up, but you will see in a second. So let's just move that up so it's off the ground. Just move that up ever so slightly a bit more. There we go. And we've got this little gap here at the bottom. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the framework. It's like the matrix. Let's go into the framework. And we're going to find this custom support, the one meter one. And we're going to put that a little step here. There we go. So we've got a little step just coming out of the staff room. There was a little tiny bit of glitching. So once again, just using that technique of just moving it to stop the glitching. And there we go. So we've got the backstage staff door that comes out with a little step. Now, now what we need is some power. Power. I built this little electric box. Now this is just two pieces. And all it is, is a cuboid, the extra small, and then the TV screen mounted wall piece. So if we just drag that out, it's just literally just one of them. Just push back in there. That's it. Two pieces and you've got a little tiny electric box. Um, fantastic little piece for adding realism to your buildings. So we're gonna put that just there. Just moved across just away from the door, just ever so slightly. And there we go, we've got another electric box. And now what we're going to search for is cables. Uh, not in scenery pieces map, in the create bit. So cable. Make sure we're in the right bit, there we go. Now this four meter cable piece is amazing. Um, I use it so much. Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to add that to the electric box here. So put it underground. Leave it above just a little bit if you want to. Um, just kind of like creates that little tiny dome on top. I quite like having that personally. And there you go. It connects to the ground. Now we're going to move this against the wall. There we go. And then we've got our cable. Now what I'm also going to do is rotate 190 degrees and I'm going to move one across here. Let's move that up a little bit. And that is to power our aircon unit. So let's just get rid of that cable because all we can find is cables at the moment. And let's grab one of these aircon units. And what I'm going to do is attach that to surface. So stick to surface, align to surface. There you go, so it's all lined up nicely. There we go, let's move that across. And there we go, so we've got our aircon unit on the side of the building that is now being powered as well. So again, just that extra sense of realism. And if you really want to go whole hog at this, get some steam coming out of it as well. So you just want to get the jet steam small. Um, you don't really want the large um, steam, it's just too much. But we're going to rotate that. And then let's line it up. Just to make sure that's in the centre. There we go. That's nice and centre. And let's put another one up there as well. And there you go. So you've got an air vent with steam coming out of it as well. Again, just that extra sense of realism. And now we need to start decorating. So I highly recommend having the studios pack for this. So we're gonna go into content pack and literally just limit it to studios. 
And now it's just a question of just filling it out with various different things from the studio pack. Um, so chain link fences leaned up against the wall is a really good piece. Um, wooden pallets leaned up against the wall is a good piece. Um, but first thing we're gonna do is put some lights above this door. Just when the staff are coming out, they're gonna need to have this well lit. So we're gonna rotate that 30 degrees and then just move that in there, just above the doors, like so. So we've got some spotlights just as the staff come out of that staff door. And now let's just start filling it out. So this manhole cover is a really good piece. So we're gonna drop that there, that's it, and turn it off because you don't want it to keep blowing off. So we're gonna put that as stationary. There's the manhole cover. Let's put some oil drums in. We'll change them to black. And just chuck some of them in that corner. I mean, you, you pretty much just chuck in anything you want. Uh, you can like kind of have it themed to how you've got your park as well. So if you've got like kind of a specific type of fence in your park, put some of them in. We need to make sure that we've got a power generator in there and maybe run the cables over to that as well. Let's put some barriers in there as well. So I'll pop one there. Let's just move them around a little bit because they wouldn't all be straight and perfectly lined up. Let's use some of these barriers as well. So we'll pop some of them there. Again, just moving them around ever so slightly so they're not all straight. It just wouldn't be realistic for them all to be straight. Let's chuck some boxes down here. Just remembering to rotate them. And what else can we chuck in? I mean, it's entirely up to you guys, to be honest, what you want. Um, bins is a really good one. Obviously, you are going to have bins. Um, I hate the colour of this bin, the fact that it's green, so I always change it to black. Um, I just think the green looks awful. And we're going to make that stationary as well, because we're obviously we don't want that going off. It just looks really silly. I don't think I've ever used that bin, like, the way it's intended. I've always made it stationary and put it in the backstage staff areas. That boxes is a good one, but maybe not for this backstage area because it's just a little bit too small. What else can we use? Um, some cones. There you go, chuck some cones in as well. That's normally a good one to use. What else have we got? Oh, some bin bags. So we're gonna want some bin bags at the side of the bin here. So let's just chuck some of them in. If you actually search for bin, there is a blue bin that unfortunately can't be changed color, but that's a really good one to put in your backstage areas as well. So just carry on putting more bin bags in. And what else can we chuck in? I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. For a quick thrown together backstage area, that's not too bad. I'm just gonna chuck some weeds in there as well. Um, there's no weeds in the studio's pack, so let's just get rid of that. So once again, back to my favorite piece in the game, this uh, green leafy bush. So we're gonna drop that below the ground. Just put some weeds in there, just in random places. Put some around the power generator, because that would normally have some weeds in. Maybe chuck one of the animatronic rats in as well. That's normally a good one. But there we go. So we have this nice little backstage staff area done in a matter of minutes. Now let's hop over to Eden Gardens and I can show you some of the other backstage areas that I have done. So once again, back here in Eden Gardens and here we have one of the very first backstage areas that I ever built in the game. So there's a lot of stuff in this one that is very specific to the park itself. Um, but once again, just using that paint tool, dropping the weeds down. So we've got the bins up there. We've got the pipes going up the side of the building, some broken wall. We've got this lorry that's propped up on bricks because it doesn't have wheels. It's like being back up north again. Um, we've got some fences leaned against the fence there. We've got the power cable running all the way across here to them air vents with the steam coming out. And that wire goes all the way over to that power generator over there. So we've got the power box on the wall and the generators. We've got a rat running around the bins. We've got the wooden pallets, which are amazing. Um, use like loads of wooden pallets. I've got this broken down tour bus because there is a tour bus in the park. So it kind of makes sense. I've got these vans that would be going around the park at night doing deliveries and things and if we just go around the park behind every shop i've just done a little tiny backstage area so they don't need to be big and flashy like even if it's only a really very small area 
as long as you've got the access in so we've got staff only on all my gates if we hop over here so this is a different type of backstage area so because this was a music stage um, I used a lot of different props for this one so a lot of music orientated things for that one if we move over to Eden restaurant so again just using the bins the cardboard boxes got some pallets in there got some containers uh, got some of the blue bins once again and then if we hop over to the outskirts of the park I did a big backstage area so this is just on the outskirts of the park and this would be like kind of where the deliveries would come in and um, so I've got these porter cabins which are actually on the PlayStation workshop and again we've just got all these boxes all these wooden pallets we've got power generators bins we've got the bin lorry there as well so yeah lots of uh, different things that you can do but hopefully this tutorial has been of help to you um i hope to be able to see some of your backstage areas in your parks but without further ado thank you ever so much for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new stay safe take care and look after yourselves and i will see you soon goodbye